So I'm using for all of my courses, the hybrid synchronous delivery method. Each course is gonna have in-person and online learning, but the way in which I've structured the courses, the students have the ability to choose really which of the approaches they want. If they want to be in person, they can come and take the whole class in person. If they would rather be remote and do the whole thing online, they can do that too. If they want to do a blend of both, if they want to come in person some days and be remote other days, then they have that option as well. It, it really is about making sure that students feel comfortable and safe as they are taking the course. Um, I've introduced much more virtual engagement than I have in the past through discussion forums, blog posts, online discussion groups, both synchronous and asynchronous. And I've made sure that all of my assignments are online through Blackboard and that all of my lessons will be live streamed and recorded. And then for interacting with me, you know, giving my students dedicated class periods where they can really just simply ask questions about what's going on and have me as an expert answer them. Uh, I found that was a really helpful way in keeping my students engaged last semester and fostering community in the classroom. I wanted to make sure that right from the get-go, if we had to move virtual, it wouldn't change really anything about the course. They're still going to get the same experience as they would in a full in-person course. Yes, it's going to be very different this fall, um, but you know, like I said, I've worked this summer to really incorporate ways to engage students more effectively in a virtual setting. So I'm confident that I'll be able to get to know my students this fall just as well, and maybe even in some ways better um, as I would in a non-COVID environment.